Hello family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for returning. Today family, on our menu we have classic jollof rice. And I'm taking you back in the day how I used to enjoy my jollof rice. And I hope you like the recipe. Without further ado, let's get to the kitchen as always and begin this special recipe. First, I'm going to grind my onion, ginger, garlic, scotch bonnet, pepper together with my natural seasonings in the are fennel seeds, coriander seeds and anise seeds. They are back and I'm going to add more of my bell peppers, the red and then the green ones. And guys, I'll continue blending them until they are nice and smooth. And I'll use them very soon in the course of the process. So while they are blending, let's go ahead and add some olive oil to our saucepan and then be quick and done with as soon as possible. No time wasting at all, okay? I've added sauteed beef to the oil for flavor and once it's golden brown or brown, I'll then add my chopped onions. Mmm, amazing flavor. I'm going to let the onion fry until it's golden brown. Mmm, the flavor is so amazing. I love this. I'm going to add my tomato paste. And then guys, I'll mix it together. I'll stir and mix it together for about 3 minutes. In case there is any sourness in there, it will all go by that time. But unfortunately, my brand is so good. So in case there isn't any other brand that you're not so sure of, always do this to just avoid all sourness and your stew will end up tasting so good. I'm now going to add my blended vegetables and seasonings. It's amazing how the aroma is everywhere in the house and the flavor is also so, so, so on point. And I'm loving this. As usual, you start to combine everything nicely and beautifully together, like I'm doing. And now it's time to let it simmer for about 5 minutes. The whilst it's simmering, I'm going to blend my fresh tomatoes and add it to the jello fry stew base. Okay, so I'm going to be adding the 10 chopped tomatoes together with the fresh chopped tomatoes okay it's nothing nothing really but that's how i feel like doing okay so you can use only the fresh tomatoes or the thin ones okay about five to seven minutes later let's add our blended tomatoes and stir again to mix everything together and still let it simmer for some time about seven minutes more guys we will still continue from there so keep watching if you want to see the full recipe. Wow, it's so amazing you like it. So keep watching and go nowhere as always in order not to skip a step. I've covered my stew with the splatter guard and it's splashing everywhere. It's normal. Now I'm going to add my tuna in sunflower oil. You can as well use mackerel or even ox this part out. Okay. As usual, you start to combine everything nicely. This is so aromatic. I love this. Now I'm going to leave it to simmer until 90% of the water is dried out. Okay, and then I'll add my rice. So keep watching, guys. And you love this recipe. I'm going to be adding both the plain rice and the wheat rice together. Wow, guys. Have you ever tried this combination before? Even my toddler enjoy this recipe. And I hope you will love it too. Okay, I'm going to wash them nicely, then I'll add them to the rice, okay? Right now, the, the water is almost dried out. Before I add my wheat, rice, and plain rice together to the stew, let me add my seasonings, my spices, okay? That's my nutmeg. I love the flavor. Salt to taste. And then, as usual, you stay to combine. This is simple, yet an amazing, flavorful recipe. Don't just watch the video, give this a try and you will love it. Mmm, aromatic, subtle aroma. I love this. About five to seven minutes later, I'm going to scoop some of the stew on the side because it's so, so ready to now use for the jollof rice. Mmm, this tastes so good. Everything is so on point. The flavor, the taste, salt content. The seasonings are all checked. Mamma mia! Oh, yummy! It's now time to add our washed wheat rice and plain rice to the stew. Oh, this is 
an amazing recipe. Family, have you ever tried this before? Is this your first time? Are you going to be doing this very soon? Are you inspired? So far, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share for others to see. Don't forget to comment on the video. And don't forget to recommend this channel to friends and families who may also like my recipes. And if it's the first time, you are warmly welcome. To enjoy more of my recipes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to also click on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos. I'd love to have you here, okay? Stick and stay with us, okay? So now I've added water to the rice and it's my final one. I'm mixing it together and I'll leave it now for it to cook to perfection, okay? Ooh, this smells good. And now it's on the low to medium level. Okay, the heat is not too high because if it's too high, you're going to burn your rice. So it's on the low to medium level and now the water is almost dried out and it smells so good the house smells so heavenly i'm impressed and i love this simple recipe i'm covering the rice with my kitchen foil since the water is dried out and i'm going to cover it with my napkin to trap more heat at the moment and the heat is still low because if it's high the rice will burn okay Anytime you get to this point when making jollof rice, make sure that the heat is so, so low and let the heat trapped in the jollof rice cook the rice for you to perfection, okay? I'm going to let the rice cook again for about 5 minutes. Now, ta-da! It's ready! It's about to be served. Where are your plates? Where are your bowls? Food is ready. Chop time. Yes, friends. Family, I hope you have been inspired. This is simple yet an amazing and super tasty recipe. Try this and bring me the feedback and I really appreciate it. Family, don't forget to like, share, comment on this video, okay, for others to see and I really, really appreciate it. And if you are new on this channel, please join us by clicking on the subscribe button. Also click on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos. And to all my OGs, I do appreciate you all. Thanks for holding me down with your love and support. And don't forget to try this recipe, okay? Because if you don't do that, that means you are not doing yourself any good. You are not even helping yourself at all. <laughs> Just give this a try, okay? And you will be loving this recipe for a long, long time. For more of these videos, please follow your girl on Instagram, like my Facebook page, follow me as well on Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to build this amazing family together. Okay? Thank you all for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe, be good, take care, enjoy. Bye, y'all. Kiss. Mwah.